Hello, my name is Tom Medlock and this is Sprint One. So what I'm going to show you today is my model manager, my shader manager, my texture manager, and I actually built a resource manager and uh, load all resources and I converted my game to a singleton. So to start off, I have my model manager and as you can see that is a singleton and it has the singleton functionality right here and it has a const string uh, that has the, the file, the folder that you can find the asset in. So it finds the asset right there. And uh, it has an unordered map. I decided to go with unordered map because I didn't feel as if it mattered what order it was in and I felt as if the STL map would uh, actually sort itself every time anything was um, inserted. So uh, I felt like this was the best way to go. Um, and yeah, I just have the different functions for the functionality of it and then a cleanup function at the bottom here. So if we go into here, you can see that the, uh, it has the singleton uh, instance null out at the top. Uh, I changed the, the, the path to base file path name so that nobody gets confused with the actual uh, like uh, folder path that it's in as well. Um, it goes ahead and it, 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 it asserts to see if, uh, if it has already put that uh, model in there. It concatenates the string, converts it to a pointer, makes a new one, and then inserts it into the map. When it, whenever it gets the um, the model, it uh, checks, it, it searches through the unordered map. It asserts to see if it got, has gotten to the end. If it has, then the model's not there. And then it returns the second part of the map, which is the value, not the key. When I unload the model. It goes, uh, it sets an iterator at the beginning. I decided, I know that you said in class that auto is a really cool way to uh, shortcut that, but then you also said that if there's anything that makes the coder have a shortcut, then um, the, the programmer is not doing the right job. So I decided just to speed up, you know, just to make my compiler not have to work extra hard. I would just, you know, write it down. It starts at the beginning. And then it goes ahead and it just uh, goes through the entire map and it deletes the, the value from it. Um, now when this gets delete when, when I delete this, uh, this model manager, when, when the, the program terminates, um, it'll go ahead and it'll just clear out that map because the only thing that is put on the heap is the model using the, the new keyword. So, um, and then I just leave, I leave a little debug thing to say that the, it, the, it has cleaned the memory. So um, this is pretty much the same for every single one. Um, I had not actually gotten to the, the, the preloaded model textures yet. So you can just kind of disregard uh, this altogether. Um, but it's pretty much the same for all of them. And um, what I did that might be different than other people is I put a resource manager on top of everything. So I kind of um, buried it one layer, one layer deeper. Um, and that just has its own uh, interface functions um, that add texture, add model, add shader, and then that c calls the shader manager and it, and it loads it all up right there. Um, so that's kind of how that works. And um, I also added the file here for the load all resources. And you can see right here that um, this is how it works if the person wants to load their own textures, models, and, and shaders in there. Um, so I also have an unload all resources and I just put that right here and the reason I put that here was because I wanted it to be private and I didn't want to have to put it because this is technically the CPP file for it um, I didn't want to put it down here because I didn't want you know the programmer to accidentally delete it and then have to go through like a big ordeal with oh no I don't you know I messed up now I have all these memory leaks so that's not a good idea um, so I also changed my game to a singleton. Now, where is that? Um, oh, that's the part of the game game. <laughs> uh, so I changed the, the game to a singleton. Um, I put in these the singleton functionality right there. And then originally I had these up here, these these functions up here, and I had a static void for to, to interface with them. Uh, but upon further inspection, I realized that the, the programmer is never going to want to call these, or we don't want the programmer to call this. So I just moved it down there and left them down there for now. I made a static void run um, function that just goes ahead and calls this run so that that way in main, um, oh God, oh there it is. In main, I can just hit game run and the game will run. Um, so for now, that's pretty much it. Um, the game compiles and, uh, well it's not really a game. The, the program compiles 
and uh, it runs. And um, other than that, you know, I click X, and it cleans up. It doesn't crash like last quarter. That's I'm liking that. That's a lot of improvement for me. Um, so, yeah, um, I sh uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you.